All right, so in this problem, we have a series of numbers, and we want to know what the next number in our series will be. So let's take a look at our transitions. From half to 2, we multiply by 4. From 2 to 1, we are multiplying by half. From 1 to 2, we multiply by 2. From 2 to 2, we are multiplying by 1. From 2 to 4, we multiply by 2. And from, two to four, and from 4 to 8, we are again multiplying by 2. Now this pattern might seem a little unclear, but let's take a closer look at how we get from transition to transition. If we multiply 4 and half, we get 2. So if we multiply half and 2, we get 1. When we multiply 2 and 1, we get 2. And when we multiply 1 and 2, we get 2. So when we multiply the two numbers of the transitions before, we get the transition for the following number. So if we multiply, the, if we want to know what this number will be, we have to know what the transition for it will be. So we have to know what we are multiplying by 8 to find the next number. So to find that, we have to multiply the two past transitions, and then that will be our transition. So if we multiply 2 and 2, we get 4. And that will be the next number we're multiplying by 8. So 8 times 4 will give us 32. And that will be the next number in our series, which is answer A.